Welcome to the Princeton Environmental Institute. I'm the director of the Institute, Steve Pakala. PEI is the entity at Princeton that manages environmental education and research on a constellation of topics in over 25 departments, from science and technology to policy, the arts, humanities, and social sciences. At PEI, undergraduate students can take part in a certificate program and many opportunities for research, including internships, senior theses, and multi-year research programs that are best thought of as super theses. We have a world-class faculty, a significant number of people whom you've learned about in the press or in coursework outside of Princeton are on the faculty here, such as Dan Rubenstein, the animal behaviorist, Francois Morel, the oceanographer, and Catherine Peters, a civil engineer. Students work hands-on with these faculty members and other top experts. These range from policy expert Michael Oppenheimer, who for over 30 years has been one of the most visible spokespeople about climate change, to Michael Bender, whose work on greenhouse gases and climate has established one of the most convincing links between fossil fuels and warming, to Peter Singer, one of the world's most distinguished ethicists. Our faculty comes from over 25 departments and we cover the most important environmental issues. We have particular expertise on global climate change with literally hundreds of scientists, engineers, and policy experts. These include ecosystem ecologist Lars Hedin, chemist and fuel cell expert Andy Bukarsley, oceanographer and climate modeler Jorge Sarmiento, and alternative energy expert Craig Arnold. We collaborate closely with the nearby NOAA Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory, which builds the climate models that guide U.S. policy. Princeton is the only top-tier university that builds cutting-edge climate models. Our faculty includes biodiversity experts such as David Wilkove and Simon Levin. We also have a remarkable concentration of oceanographers and marine biologists such as Bess Ward and Danny Sigmund. PEI is home to leading experts on environmental pollutants, energy technology, and epidemic disease, such as air pollution expert Denise Mazaral, energy expert Rob Sokolow, and healthcare expert Chris Paxson. The core of the educational offering is the certificate program. We offer three core courses that integrate science, policy, and technology, and a large number of more specialized courses. The PEI education is experiential and hands-on, we spend lots of time outside working in the rough. The undergraduate program culminates in an environmental thesis supported by an extensive grant program. We believe in the Princeton formula of a disciplinary education, but we know that to solve intractable problems around the world, we need to collaborate across disciplinary lines. We are committed to providing the opportunity to study environmental subjects, making a difference now, and still complete a major in any traditional field. PEI manages a program called Grand Challenges, which is a collaboration among PEI, the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs, and Princeton's School of Engineering and Applied Science. It, together with PEI's own student internship program, is by far the largest purveyor of undergraduate research opportunities and internships on campus. We encourage students to get involved as early as possible, to link the experiences together into a super thesis. A score of courses support the effort. There are three current Grand Challenges projects, Climate and Energy, Sustainable Development, and Global Health. The Siebel Climate and Energy Challenge investigates the impact of fossil fuels on climate. It ranges from climate modeling to impacts of climate change on rainforests and the oceans, to geopolitics of oil, to the policies and politics of a solution, and new energy technologies. Students travel to the far corners of the world, from tropical forests to the middle of the Pacific Ocean, to Saudi Arabia, China, and the halls of Congress. The Sustainable Development Challenges focuses on East African biodiversity, land use, poverty, and water. It is based in our research facility in Kenya, but also includes projects throughout Africa. The work integrates studies of endangered wildlife, work with local people such as the Maasai, and has a particular focus on water and land use. In this region, everything depends on water. PEI has the best collection of hydrologists in the world. The Global Health Challenge focuses on epidemiology of infectious disease, the health of women and children, especially in developing countries, vaccine development, and antibiotic resistance. Projects range from malaria in Africa to the risk of a global flu pandemic. 
A similar program in Bermuda includes a suite of field courses in the summer and research on subjects ranging from the effect of fossil fuel burning on coral reefs to the biogeochemistry of the deep ocean gyre. We are determined to train the next generation of leaders who will actually solve these problems. PEI has an extensive outreach operation of public lectures, seminars, conferences and events bringing together students, faculty, alumni and the public. Finally, we work with students interested in developing their own research ideas. Previous students have pursued a constellation of projects ranging from documentary filmmaking to pollutants in the inner city, environmentally themed literature, theater and art. We hope that you'll get involved. The world needs for you to get involved. Please do not hesitate to contact us by email or even better to drop by our headquarters at Geo Hall. And do check out our website. It contains lots of information that'll help you get started.